Congressman Henry Coyot talking about what he believes will happen once the new administration takes over. Channel 5's Alyssa Cole has more on what's ahead. Good evening. That's right. During the press conference, Congressman Cuellard says once President-elect Joe Biden is sworn in tomorrow, he plans to take action on a few things, including vaccine distribution nationwide, developing partnerships in Central America, and seeking support for additional stimulus aid. He's talking about 100 million vaccines in the first 100 days. The president-elect hopes to distribute 1 million vaccines a day covering 30 million Americans in just one month. And we got to get the federal government to work with our state partner and our local governments, uh, have the National Guard involved, uh, have mobile sites to go into the rural areas uh, and have those hubs in the large urban area so we can get them out. The push for bipartisan support of a $1,400 stimulus check also on the table, including additional aid for cities, counties, and states. The president-elect's administration already making plans to meet with the Hispanic Caucus on addressing immigration along the U.S.-Mexico border. One of the first things he's overturned Trump's proclamation of the state of emergency regarding the southern border. Uh, he'll be fortifying DACA. Uh, uh, we'll be, uh, he'll be, as part of the Hispanic Caucus, we've been talking with the uh, incoming administration about um, a immigration uh, bill. That immigration bill includes an eight-year pathway addressing dreamers, farm workers, and other visa-related programs. Congressman Henry Cuellar and Vicente Gonzalez plan to be at the inauguration tomorrow in person, while Congressman Philemon Villa plans to be there virtually. All three men are asking anyone planning to demonstrate or protest here in the Rio Grande Valley to do so safely. Alyssa Cole, Channel 5 News at 6.